Rapid Media presents Rapid Media TV. Scott McGregor here with Rapid Media TV, and I'm in the Pygmy booth at the 2014 Canucopia show. I'm here with Freya. Freya, um, oh, just a second. Can you come back and fix this up, please? Yep. Yeah. So here we go. What did I do? What's my hair doing? Okay, now we're ready to go. <laughs> Freya, um, all these boats that are here in the Pygmy booth are customer built boats, right? They are. Yep, these are boats that customers have brought in kindly enough. We asked them if they would bring them in, and they have shown a lot of support and brought a lot of boats in and for they're, us. And they're milling about the booth here, checking it out. They are. They've even stayed and volunteered to answer questions, and it's really great for other people here at the show to be able to meet people who've actually built the boats themselves. It's not just us, the represent, representatives of Pygmy. It's our customers who are talking to other people. A few years ago in Adventure Cack Magazine, we did a continuing story where we ordered a bunch of kits, one of which was yours, and we tracked builders for over four issues. And it was super fun to see the different personalities of people coming forward. There was the slacker, and there was the keener, and there was the artist, and all of that. So it certainly, it seemed like almost anybody can build these. Yeah, really anybody can. I had never done any woodworking before, and I've built my own boat. Um, our average customer has not done woodworking stuff before, and their boats turn out looking like this. My father-in-law, Dave, was one of those guys, and he had never done anything, dreamed of it his whole life, and it turned out beautifully. Awesome. That's really good to hear. So, no, it's really nice. Uh, so, th tell me about the boat that's being built with your name on it. Yeah. Um, or so, designed, I guess, at this point. Yeah, my dad and I are working on a design, or I should say, I'm just putting input, and he figures out how to do it. Um, I learned how to Greenland roll a few years ago in our boat, the Muralette, and then I've really been kind of taken off. It's really fun to do some Greenland nerd rolling, I call it, but <laughs> it, it's suited to my abilities as being a short person who's really been in the water my entire life, um, and we're trying to create a boat that is really kind of the best rolling boat out there, and a boat built and designed for women my size. It's not just a rolling boat, it's a technical performance boat that is sized for women that are, you know, 5'3 and below. And there really are very few boats out there for us. Um, it's in its second year of prototyping. We're trying to put about as much maneuverability in it as we can, so that means a lot of rocker, but still having it track well. We might decide to put a skeg on it, but my dad and I both really don't like skegs or rudders, so we're really trying to push the envelope of what you can do with a boat without a skeg or rudder. Does he listen to you? He does, yeah. It's been a really fun process. We've gone out in boats, and I'm like, oh, I really want this to be able to do a forward finishing hand roll really easily. And I've tried out different boats and been like, oh, man, this one does that. Why? And things like that. So we've, I don't know. Okay. No, we can hear you. Okay, you can hear me over there. It's loud here, but we can hear you. Okay. Well, that's great. So when is it going to be available? Yeah, that's the good question. Well, let me guess. When's your best guess? What's, what's the plan? Um, what's your dream? Our best guess is probably will be in production by next summer when I'm going to be going to Greenland and competing in the Greenland rolling competition. Um, so hopefully, I'm pretty sure we're going to have the final boat ready then, and it'll be that perfect balance between maneuverability and tracking like all of our other boats. So why don't I wish you luck with that project and in Greenland? Thank you. Right, thanks very much. <laughs> Scott McGregor here in the Pygmy booth for Rapid Media TV, hoping you paddle forever. More about Rapid Media's print and digital magazines, International Paddling Film Festival, on-water events, and online store. Visit rapidmedia.com.